Hello once again and welcome back to another episode of Father and Sundays, the unexplainable guide to absolutely nothing. We're on episode 86 this week. Are you sure? Yep, I'm certain. <laughs> and as it is a brand new year, we are looking back on the year 2022 and we're doing a review of it in 2022 in review. It would be rude not to. <laughs> Stick around if you want to hear more. Hello Deb. Hello Connor, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm very well, thank you very much for asking. Um, it's 2023. It is. Is it? <laughs> is no. It, it is. Uh, it's, it will be, and it, and by the time this goes out, it will be 2023. That's mad, isn't it? Madness. Another year just whizzed past. But did you, I mean, how, how was the end of 2023 for you? Did you have a good Christmas? It's not finished yet. I know it's not finished yet, but when this goes out... Would you have had a nice Christmas, Connor? No, I did. We have still done Christmas, though. What? At the time of recording, you said, would you have had a nice Christmas? But we did still have Christmas, so okay. we can still talk about Christmas. That's why I asked. Why are you making this so complicated? Let's try that again. Hello, Connor. Hi, how are you, Dad? Yeah, I'm not too bad. How was your Christmas? Oh, it was nice. Thank you very much for asking. How was yours? Uh, it was nice. Thank you very much. Did you get your top hat? No, no one bought me a top hat. Oh, nightmare. No. Did, is that what you went and bought? Dead Argos today. Oh, I went to Argos today. Yep. Yep. I didn't buy a top hat. You didn't? No. Oh, right. Not available, no? No, it wasn't available, so instead I opted for a stream deck. Oh, right. Nice. You know, just to... Slightly different, but... Improve workflow and, and look nice on my desk and, yeah. and stuff. I've been playing around with that for quite some time now. Have you? Which has meant that we've delayed the recording of the podcast. Has it got in the way... What? Something that's supposed to help us has got in the way of actually... It's hindered us so far. However, in the did you see how quickly I pressed record? Well, I did what, that I saw, stream deck. what I saw is, because I'm at an angle to you, so I can't see the screen or anything, you were pulling a rather strange face for a little while, like it wasn't actually working, and then you suddenly... Oh, started. no, that's because... Um, uh, it's just... That's, because we use this particular software we're doing, I needed to click on the window for it to actually start working. Ah, uh, right, I see. So anyway, so a good Christmas. You had a good Christmas. Did you get everything you wanted? I got p- many things I wanted. Many things. New That's, pants? Uh, yeah. I got so many things I wanted. I actually got two of <laughs> yeah. two jackets. I've heard they're calling you um, Johnny Two Jackets now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that your new nickname? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, unbelievable. I got right? two jackets. You know what, though? I like them both, and they're both... Different enough, yeah, to me to enjoy both of them different for different colours, reasons. Yeah? No, same colour. All oh, right, okay. Same colour style looking as well. <laughs> so they're the same jackets. No, they're not the same. All right, one's okay. thicker than the other. One looks better quality than the and other, and one's larger. Gotta than be the honest. Other. Yeah, is that by any chance the one you bought? Yeah. You say that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the one you got, I'll be honest. When I first looked and it said large, I was thinking I don't normally wear a large, but I that you're one. Kidding yourself, really? Wow, that's rude. <laughs> Anyway, that one on, yeah. works quite well in the in terms of I can roll up sleeves a little bit, and I can wear off thicker stuff underneath it, and it works a bit more like a coat. It's a bit yeah. thicker. Uh, the other one that Becky and Sam kindly got for me is a uh, more of a. I'm in the office. I can wear it. Oh you wow! Know, like, whatever. Yeah. So uh, so a bomber jacket for all seasons. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Well, like the one you got me is very nice, but as it starts to get warmer, I'm, I'll be leaning towards the other one. Right, that sounds good. No, fantastic. So, right. Yeah, yeah. So, you really did do well then. Yeah, didn't I did you? do well. I got pants, socks. Um, oh, there's nothing quite like a that. A white t shirt to get uh, to replace the one well, that I had that was covered in it. blood. Yeah. 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 How long um, do you reckon it'll be before you get blood all stuff? over? Oh, I don't know. Not long. Yeah. I think I probably already have. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, do you need anything nice for Christmas? I've got loads of nice stuff for Christmas, um, and including. Uh, I got some socks and I got some new pants and new pants are great. I never used to think new pants were great when I was younger, but there's something about a brand new pair of pants that just I'm puts not wearing a new spring pants in a man's step. Huh? I'm not wearing new pants today. No, nor am I because I only got two pairs. But I got three pairs. But it was quite exciting when, when you actually put them on. I'm wearing new socks. Yeah. Well the, although I noticed the socks that I was bought, something say like anti-smell. Yeah. You're trying to say something? Yeah. yeah right. Anyway, and uh, yeah, I got uh, some new uh, walking boots. Did you get a top some... hat? No, but I didn't ask one. 
Oh, right. So uh, I just didn't fancy. I'll, to be honest, I got asked genuinely. Someone who listens to the podcast said to me, "Why do you want a top hat?" I went, "Just laugh, just a laugh, just to wear around the house." Yeah, yeah just I'm to thinking of getting myself a beret for exactly the same reason. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, right. We also released a podcast that was very much Christmas related. Yes, we did. Yeah, it's called Christmas Pantomime. It's Christmas Pantomime, and it was a Christmas Carol, wasn't it? Yeah, and we put a lot of effort into that, didn't we? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, both of us did, didn't we? Yeah, you put more effort than me. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> did you learn all your lines, though? I bet you learned all your lines. No. No. No, no you didn't, did you? <laughs> no. no. You were quite angry about it. Well, the thing is, after that particular episode, is uh, you got quite angry and you wanted to redo a part of it. No, I didn't get angry. All right, you were just a bit, you were just a bit, I think you weren't angry, you were were just a little bit grumpy. uh, You were disappointed in yourself. I wow. could tell. No, you were though. You you seemed. Well, I was disappointed in myself because you seemed disappointed. I was a little bit crestfallen with it. However, it's quite funny actually listening to it back. Well, I I re-listened to it and I thought, nah. Because you wanted to redo one bit, didn't you? Just one bit because it got so chaotic. But in the end, I thought, I can't be bothered. And I was and very, very ill. <laughs> and, well, you, and, yes. So I couldn't get some of the stuff done I wanted to get done. So in the end, we, we just sort of cobbled it together. But I listened to it back and I was quite pleased with it. I thought it was all right. So, you know, who knows what we'll do next year or if we will. Well, well we know we'll be doing stuff next year because this podcast coming out on the 1st of January. Oh, that's very true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. So that was the kind of end of the year. But have you been working? Yeah, I have been working, yeah. Yeah. I went back to work this week to tons of stuff to do. And it's only miserable four people. days, though, isn't it? It is, but it feels like a, 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 more like four weeks at the moment because it's just not very nice. Uh, but, you know, I've only got tomorrow uh, or yesterday uh, <laughs> because yeah. this comes out on New Year's Day. But I'm working the Saturday, like New Year's Eve, so... Hopefully I'll finish and get round to party at the uh, mother-in-law's. Right. Is it really a party or it's just a family It's a together? proper party, full-on party. Is it now? Yeah. Have you told Nan about that? Uh, well, it doesn't matter really, does it? I've oh. heard there's two different types of food. and I've been told that I've got to leave at some point to drop Becky and Sam somewhere. Oh, have you? Go on, yeah, taxi I'm firm. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a yeah, liberty. Well, 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 well. Yeah. But um, yes, uh, yeah. I went to work though. Oh, you went and you did, you, it was weird, wasn't it? You went, went for, for an half, afternoon. Half, half day, yeah. Uh, did you take toys in? That's what you used to do at school in no. the afternoon. What I did do, though, yeah, and I did this for my boss, yeah, just to keep her happy. Yeah. I worked out on Microsoft Teams that you can send out a message every hour. Uh, well, you can send out scheduled messages. So I sent a message to her every hour. Yeah. I scheduled them the day before for her to go out today. Yeah. While she was in the office, just to keep her entertained and I also printed out a small picture of Vin Diesel put it in a frame and put it on her desk that sounds very specific she very like very much likes Vin Diesel very likes very likes very likes very likes much like that sounds a bit annoying the message thing yeah I know that's the intention yeah Yep. Oh, well, good luck. We've keeping your job then. <laughs> yep. I'll see her on Tuesday and see how it went down <laughs> oh dear <laughs> and even I don't even know if she's seen the uh, the Vin, Vin Diesel. Diesel no okay it seems funny like, isn't it yeah well, yeah, I'm all for things like that, just to keep yourself going, believe me. So, yeah, good on you. Right, I suppose we better talk about the actual year itself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're about almost 10 minutes in. We're, we're not... almost 10 minutes in, and we haven't even gone through any of the months. Because we're, just for clarity, 8 minutes and 30 seconds in. Yes! <laughs> right, so, anything in particular that you want to cover that happened in 2022? Do we want to do it chronologically? I think that will be the easiest thing to do, Father. Okay, okay son. Because the strange thing about 2022 is, and, and 2023 will be the first year, mm-hmm. hopefully, whether, and at least it will be the first year that it least starts this way for a while where there's no COVID restrictions. Because at the start of January 2022... See, this is confusing me because... There was COVID restrictions. Yeah, and I had thought they'd all fallen away by then, but we still had them. So when did they actually drop away completely? Oh, well, something... A month or so in. Yeah, it was a few months in. A couple yeah. months in. But it yeah, was, it, was, it was 
fading away. Yeah, because I had my last, third jab over the Christmas period. Yeah, because I did la- bu- Boxing Day. The last Boxing Day, blimey. The last, uh, like last Christmas, uh, was when Mum uh, tested for COVID on Christmas morning, so we couldn't have a Christmas. We had, it was just the three of us sort of locked in sort of thing wasn't it so at least this Christmas was slightly different than that but I guess it was coming oh, out the very back much it. different there's loads well, of people here. yeah there was a lot of people here yeah but we were still had things going on then with COVID and that seems weird now I mean everybody seems to be getting this uh, horrible flu like thing at the moment but um, I know COVID's still around we've got people at work who've got COVID but we very much are starting to live with it rather than be dictated by it now yeah, very, very much so. I think it's it's one of these things that won't go away. Yeah, you just have to learn to live with it. Yes, yes. Okay. So, with that in mind, we might must have escaped it eventually. Then. Well, yeah. Well, we're certainly. Not I'm actually doing. having a look at some stats. So, the COVID nineteen pandemic, yeah, yeah. hit uh, exceeded three million cases worldwide in January. In January, I suppose that's the peak time over that period, anyway. Because people were indoors, aren't they? And, yeah. And I imagine a lot of people... I don't know if you had a limit to the amount of people you were allowed to have on Christmas Day, um, but people were pretty much doing... There was an awful lot of people doing what they wanted to do in the end. So, I mean, obviously it was going to peak a bit, a but spike. later yeah. on that same month, the number of vaccinations yeah. administered worldwide exceeded 10 billion See, that is a huge uh, achievement. I mean, I've had my fourth, would it be? Fourth jab in the last month or so. Um, But the rollout of that, that our incredible NHS people and, and all the... Uh, volunteers that got went to the centres and made sure it ran smoothly. It was just absolutely awesome. Do you remember when the no best vac- of people that is? Djokovic was uh, deported from Australia because he wasn't vaccinated. Oh, because he, he refused to prove whether he was vaccinated or not at first. So yeah. they didn't even know. It was like he was saying, "Well, it's it's not anybody's business." And he wasn't. But, yeah. No, but you know, at the time it was. Well, I might be, I might not, but it's no one else's business. But unfortunately, it is other people's business. And do you remember? Yes, do you remember? On the tenth of January. On the tenth of January. It was the first successful heart transplant from a pig heart to a human, like from a pig to a human. And and we've peaked now. I think as far as uh, as animal organs are concerned, that's got to be where we wanted to be. And like congratulations to all involved. So actually someone's got a pig heart. Yep. Like an... So is a pig heart the same shape as a human heart? Pig heart is one of the most similar hearts you can get to a human heart. What about an ape heart, like a, a primate? Well, so? most similar yet accessible hearts. Oh, because people don't worry pigs about Pigs are very pigs. similar to humans. Are they? Yeah. In what respect? Both Their got heart, trotters. Both got trotters. And a snout. And a little towel, a little curly towel. Yeah, a little curly towel. Um, both smell. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see. I see what you yep. mean there. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that. I mean, there's loads of stuff that happened in January. Yeah. 2022. Yep. I mean, let's be honest. I don't remember all of it. Was it? Did anything happen with us in January? January? I don't think January, January. anything in particular. We all were going about our business. I think business, business. I think uh, uh, we'd obviously had the news that uh, your your eldest sister, my daughter, was. Oh, I got a car. Pregnant. Um. So. That was something that was ongoing. We'd also just, in the previous year, uh, your younger sister had got engaged. So there was always, that was the start of the talk of when that will be. And, and we now, well, we know it's 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 going to be, as we this goes out, it'll be this year, the 1st of June, that she gets married. So all the exciting things like that, I suppose that was ticking along. But you We got had our 50th episode. Did we? Was yeah. that the 50th episode? Oh, wow, yeah, I think I can remember it well now. So yeah. we got a few people to record little messages on it and, and uh, yeah. And I got on. my new bed. Um, but, yeah, I, I had a car crash in December of 2021. Oh, just before Christmas, wasn't it? Yeah, and then uh, so I got my new car in, in January. 
Uh, yeah, I think that pretty much wraps up January. Yeah. Oh, and we made uh, pizza pasta for the first time. Wow. We do lead exciting lives, don't yeah. we? That Should- was uh, from a book, The Pinch of Nom, wasn't it? And we were trying to. It's a bit like people are uh, in the new year. They say, right, new year, new new us. We're going to do something a little bit different. And I think we'd said to us, uh, to each other, look, let's try and think of still having the same meals every night or sort of the same rotation of about six different meals. Let's try and do something different. And I think that was one of the ones that we, we chose which, let's be honest, is just an amalgamation of two other of the <laughs> of the things that we eat. Uh, but yeah, that went damn well. But we'll have to start doing that again. I think that's definitely got to introduce a few more um, sort of. Oh, mind you, you've been doing a lot of that anyway. You've been eating all sorts of oh, I've been eating from all around sorts of stuff the world for, so. at work. Um, into February though. Yeah. Short months, so it shouldn't take as long. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Beijing Winter Olympics. Wonderful. Yeah. Very exciting, actually. Wasn't all that successful for uh, Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Well, we don't. Yeah, we don't tend to get the same sort of medal haul in the Winter Olympics because you know we haven't really got the conditions in this country for people to train, and also if there are you know, and it's the money as well around those sort of. Beijing was the first ever city to host the Summer Olympics and the Winter Olympics. I knew that. I knew it. Oh, I get the feeling it might come up later on. I did know that. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Um, I mean, I, I'll be honest, there's not loads of stuff that went on in February. One of the most, most notable things was uh, the Russian invasion of the Ukraine. Yes. Horrendous. Horrendous. Uh, still going on. Still, still going very on. much The fact is, horrific. is everyone has taken it. It just kind of happens in the background now and it shouldn't be that way. But that is, that in a, in a certain respect, and we said this at the time, when every, it's like anything, every day you hear the news... And you think, oh, where's this going to end? Or, and, and then suddenly it's the second thing on the news. Then it's the third thing on the news. And then you're, and, and it's just human nature if you live and, and you get about, go about your daily business sort of thing that you don't necessarily, it doesn't necessarily cross your mind all the time. And, that, and in a way, that's, uh, you think, no, that's not right, yeah. is it? So. Well, and then actually, the last notable thing that did happen in February is I went to KFC and my order number was 8008, or boob. Wow, that must have been another huge highlight for you. I'm surprised you didn't mention that at the very first. And you played VR. Oh my God, VR. That was my introduction into VR, was it? I think you'd already done it once before. Yeah. Oh, I got fish as well. I forgot about that. I also bought some... uh, uh, rummy nose Tetras. Oh no, I didn't buy the rummy nose Tetras. Sorry, I. You're just giving out false information. This is just ridiculous. Yeah, I didn't have them at that point. I just set up the quarantine tank for them. All oh, right. Oh well, more to discuss. Two minute debate. Right now, after a long hiatus, it's the return of Two Minute Debate, the point where we have a debate over two minutes and then we discuss it over two minutes and then after then it's done. Okay? okay. No, good. Right. So today's Two Minute Debate yep. is um, there has been a public poll. Yep. Uh, the government want to put it in place where they're going to uh, gonna turn the royal family into onions in the fact that once King Charles dies you peel away his skin and then there will be Prince William underneath and they're going to continue going like that so they're going to turn the entire royal family into onions so that we only have one and then they just peel away and the next one's born Um, you are for and I am against (laughs) right great (laughs) okay well it makes perfect sense to me to be honest because if you think about the amount of money we spend on the royal family it's it's billions of pounds and we could save ourselves a lot of everybody likes vegetables with faces on like little goggly right, eyes okay. and things like that so we can save ourselves an awful lot of money um also it can get rid of the people in the royal family who don't like because as we all know onions sweat so if right, there's any nice. members of the, the uh, royal family that apparently don't sweat then they're out already i just don't think there's any problem where i mean why why stop at onions really but anything that's got layers like that i just think it's it's going to work for everybody we can have it on the stamps we can we can have it on the money 
But you could also argue that you're saying about saving money, because I understand when you're saying saving money, you mean that you're only essentially having one person that you need to have do stuff. I get that. However, what could also be the problem, though, is is the whole royal family makes quite a lot of money. So there's all these different houses and stuff. If there's only one member of the royal family at any one point, yeah. then they're losing loads of money. This, like the royal engagements, you send King Charles to go meet um, a King Charles Spaniel from uh, Montenegro, and then uh, that Prince William can go do something else. But you won't have that if they're all of them are just within one onion. Yeah, but you don't need any more than Onion that, do you? Family. Why, why would you need any more than that? Why do you need to have people spread across the planet? I mean, the bottom line is with these days and, and the way things are with pandemics and everything else, we don't really need to be travelling. We should be uh, looking at the environment and saying we don't need to go out in our jets and have to think about offsetting. We can just use organic material. They can do Zoom calls. It's not going to be a problem. I just think it's the way forward. Vegetables instead of, you know, oil, uh, fuels and a uh, billion spent for nothing. So we spoke about January, spoken about February. We're into What's March. The next? Oh, we're at March. We're Thank into you. March. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, that's all right. Is there anything you want to cover? There is one thing particularly that I'd like to say something about. But the Olympics ended in March. Did it? Really? Yeah. Yes. Anything else of any significance? Um, yes, but also no. Okay. Like there's a lot of little things globally and stuff that happened. Okay, well, we won't cover any of that. What we'll actually say, there was something that happened in March that obviously affected us greatly and did affect the fact that we had to shut down for a couple of weeks from doing the podcast, and that was unfortunately the loss of my mum and your nan, um, which came quite out of the blue in, in March um, and really was a huge shock to us all. Um, incredible woman. We talk about her all the time. We talk about all the things that she... I looked at a picture of earlier on today. Yeah, and, and we're surrounded by her things all the time that, that she's she was part of. This was the first Christmas, though, that I have spent without her. So it was a very, very difficult time at, at times throughout that period. But without getting too down about it, it was a, it was a huge blow um i think we all felt it um but you know she was remembered then she was and continues to be remembered fondly yeah. for the wonderful woman she was yeah absolutely um so here, I'm going to say something now that also happened in March, but it's, it's going to sound completely pointless that's fine that's just fine said. it's just it needed to be said yeah. about i got wardrobe doors Wow, well, yeah. yeah, quiet, wardrobe doors. Was it the one that had the glass on it that um, that we got? And as we were putting no, it together, that, it, well, y- it yeah, went ching, 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 ching. And you looked like you were going to cry your eyes out. You just yeah. looked so distraught as these big cracks started to appear across some of the glass. We knew, or I knew, let's face it, I think I went to Ikea about three times in one week to try and sort all that stuff out well, for you. me and mum had gone and picked them up that day. Yeah. And we'll put them together that evening. And then I went oh, back. I remember I just go. having it sitting in the corner of my room for ages as well, just because That's I had some of the stuff. But, but look at it now. It looks, mate, it looks fantastic great. in here. Uh, Nan, Nan would have loved those wardrobe doors. She would have doors. loved those wardrobe doors. She'd have been a big fan. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Going on to April then. Uh, we did have Nan's funeral in April. We did indeed on a ber- what would have been a 92nd birthday. Yeah. So it was a nice I opportunity to... Uh, well. You did. I unfortunately weren't a- wasn't able to speak about it. I find that a bit difficult, but it was nice to have stuff read out. Some nice to see people celebrate their life. Yeah. Um, you did the London Landmarks half marathon? I did. I think I'd started doing my races again and started getting into it. I think we had uh, a weekend coming up that we tried to do. So um, I was trying to squeeze in a few races to get in, in preparation. Yeah. I went to go see Bastille. Yes. Lovely. Again. I've seen them before. Yeah. Um, I mean, the Russian invasion was still going on at this point. It is still going on. I don't know why it was still going on. But the Large Hadron Collider became fully operational. Do you remember that? That's exciting. I don't tend to follow those things particularly, but I oh, thought... It was three years. I thought it had already been working for some years. It was shut years. down for three years. I'd done a song upgrades. about Professor Cox yonks ago, and I thought he would, he'd been working on it, and it was up and running. 
He used to work on it. Yeah, I know he did used to work on it, but it's only just in this last year gone past been fully operational, yeah? No, no, no. It shut down for three years. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, so it went back operational then. Um, I did my 50th park run. Wow. Um, still on that here now? You don't uh, run at all now, do no, you? You retired. Occasionally. Yeah. Um, I did actually get my fish. We did on the run. Oh, an episode that was something like we talked about the pantomime. We tried something a bit new, didn't we? Based on the. Uh, didn't get released, released until May, but we recorded it. In that April. was a bank holiday, wasn't it, that we did it on? Oh, yeah. blimey. Yeah, I remember that day because we were about to mention something else about that yeah, day as well. Cause but the actual on the run, we went to a local uh, castle castle park. Not, you, there's only certain people. There's a, you can't say that everywhere, can you? No, local castle. No, yeah. no, you wouldn't. No, no. So there was an hour and a long term, a long time compatriots, uh, Becky and Sam came with us. Or Bam. Bam, as we like to call them. Um, that episode is out there. So if anybody wants to go and listen to that again, it's a totally different sort of thing. We review it. There's some live fo- it's, footage. Um, it's of, on YouTube as well. It's on one. YouTube as well. But it was something different, and no one knew quite it. what to expect out of it. It was based on the Hunted series, and we did it slightly differently. So me and Becky were on the run, and you and Sam were trying to find us. But it was great fun. It was very, very tense. It was very, very fun and very, very tense and I, as well. Not that tense for me. I but. got a new catchphrase out of it as well. Way so, Liam. Way Liam, way Liam, a word that I've never used before then, and I probably haven't used since, apart from when I just said it. It's on a T-shirt. Um... Unfortunately, that same day, yes, we we um, we've talked about our pets many times on these podcasts, uh, and we had a dog called Bilbo that was uh, we loved to bits. We've had had him for a spring of spaniel for a um, fair few years. Two thousand nine, um, we got him, then. but he was. He was getting old before his time anyway. But he was struggling a little bit. But unfortunately, that day. He struggled quite a bit and it was quite evident that he was not going to be very well and we had to make some difficult decisions. So that was quite a sad day as well. And I know we talk about people and losing people, but I think anybody that owns pets, anybody that has pets, they they live with you. They are part of your family. So it's very difficult when, when you, you know, they go as well. So, yeah, and that was another sad day in the end. But, I mean, it started really great. We had such good fun, but unfortunately it ended. Uh, but he had a great life again. He, You know, we had great fun with him. Um, he, you know, we, he had a good life with us as well. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, sad, but, you know, he, he, was, he was better off because he was suffering quite a bit by that time. So Yeah. Oh dear, sounding like a terrible year this is, isn't it? Well, I better pick up. May was a massive turning point for me personally. Was it? Yeah, so... Um, Wardrobe doors? Well, for one, in on the uh, May 2022, yeah. Eurovision happened and the UK came second. And we really would have won it, wouldn't we? That's yeah, racing. Ukraine came first. Um, sure, Ukraine did great, but... The nicest possible way, I do think UK would have won it had the invasion not been ongoing. Oh, yeah, it's However, incredible. I don't want to take it away it, from Ukraine either. That programme drives me around a bend, and I don't watch it, but it just annoys it was me. It's mental. I actually, I didn't care at all, but I ended up looking on my phone and the end, yeah. Work, in the phone. end, when it looked like every time we got eight points, ten points, I like, think, mm, hang on a minute. And we had, at the point where they, before they go to the public vote, he, he, would, he was winning. Yeah, it was just that we knew once it went to a public vote with what was happening in Ukraine that they were going to get a lot of votes. And I don't think it's uh, out of order to say it wasn't a particularly good song, but it was the right thing to do to show solidarity, even in something that's as ridiculous as the Eurovision Song Contest. Because Belarus and uh, Russia had been banned for it. Yeah. But, um, and for some reason, Australia was in it. Yeah, well. Um, never really understood that. <laughs> that was... A monkeypox outbreak? No do you way. Remember that? I do remember a monkeypox outbreak. That was a big worry on on the back of all the other poxies that we were having. Yeah. 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 That 
that was mental. But, but big turning point for me, I started my new job in May. You did? Yeah, and I enjoyed so it very much. So this is a job you're doing now, yeah? Mm-hmm. Which is in a, like a trainer within a company. Yeah. And you seem to still be enjoying it as well. I am, very much so. I enjoy it. Yes, you seem infused about it quite often, which, let's face it, if you've got a job you can feel like that about, uh, good for you, because (laughs) there's plenty of other people that have got jobs that they're not very infused about. I know. Me included. Um, But that same month we did the Culture Zoo Stampede. Uh, Later on that month we flew out to Edinburgh and we did the... Yeah, a slightly dodgy Edinburgh time, Matt, from Relay. because there was a lot of races coming up, um, and I'd done a race that was like a cross-country trail race, and I'd broken ribs. I'd run it, and about a two kilometres in a 10k race, I'd gone over and thought I'd winded myself, but it turns out I'd broken a few ribs. I carried on and run it. So when I went up to... You're famous uh, for it now. I am famous for it now. When I went up to Edinburgh, uh, bearing in mind how many races we were hoping to run, it was a bit nerve-wracking to know whether it would actually last because we there was a few of us, wasn't there, and we were doing a 5K runs, 10K runs, half marathon. There was a couple of people doing a marathon. We were doing a marathon relay. There was a huge amount of races going on, but we did the lot, didn't we? Mm. Managed to, and there was a couple of people doing their first marathons, Sam and and uh, my Rob. brother-in-law Rob, yeah, and uh, brilliantly done. And but it was fantastic. I love Edinburgh, and it was great to be back up there because yeah, obviously we'd had a yeah couple of years where we couldn't travel and and couldn't do it. So it was really good to be, to even be though back there was in. still a little bit of a, it was still fresh. Bearing in mind the restrictions had only just dropped. It was, still it, a bit, was. it was a bit we weird. We weren't fully convinced that we end up going. Yeah, and I don't think anybody at that time, I think I'm only just starting to believe certain things are going to happen. Even at Christmas, there was part of me thinking, oh, Did we have to wear good. masks on the plane? I think we probably did on the plane. I'm not 100% sure Actually, we no, did. I don't think they did. I think, I think other, we flights, chose to. other flights yeah, were. Other, but oh, we, that's right. Yeah, other flights were having to. We weren't. But, you know, I have no problem with wearing a mask if it means to be able to do sort of things you want to yeah. do. So Yeah, so that was my... Um, June, look, there was stuff that happened in June, like there was earthquakes and stuff like that, and there's elections. We don't tend it's to not, uh, yeah. cover those in this, because that, that's I for know people... I know like your, your yeah, invasion and stuff like but that. But that, that's, that's for people who want to talk about it more in depth. I don't yeah. think we would do it justice to, to try and talk about something that we don't know but too much about. big news for June. Yeah, my birthday. Big news, oh, well, I guess it was that. But big news for June. Father's Day. Oh, I guess it was that as well. But the big news for June. Yeah. One, it was Maui's last time being an only cat. And on, uh, and also, we got a pizza oven. Oh, pizza <laughs> oven. That, see, we've got to get that rolling out again, haven't we? Yeah, it's just cold though, isn't it? It is cold. Well, it's quite hot when you stand near the pizza wear oven. all my jackets. You can wear your, your Johnny 2 jackets or whatever I called you at the beginning of this. Yep. Yeah. What you have to look though, because I'm I'm not sure our one's okay, but the other oh. one looks like it's flammable. And I got some American Fanta. Blimey, I think I've had a few of them, and they blow your head off. You went through a stage of actually buying stuff that was probably illegal over here, yeah. No, <laughs> didn't get stuff that was illegal, but <laughs> well, it looked like it was. It certainly went. I think I bought a load of stuff as well. I kept seeing different flavours of it because we were going to do an episode with all different flavoured yeah. drinks and that, which, God, oh, that still makes me, gives me a gut well, ache we'll come on to that. that. That was late, some later months. Okay, so that's June, but now... July was massive. It was massive. It was massive for us as a family. Um, well, let's start... Should we... I know it took up, like, the... Pretty much all, all of July. Yeah. But we'll say it straight away. The UEFA Women's Euros 2022. Oh, incredible. Amazing. Incredible. It was played f- in England and England went on to win it. it they did and they were superb throughout. Um, what an what impressive... And, and bearing in mind the amount of years and how hard it's been for the women's game to become more mainstream, it seems to be that there now. And I've got to be honest, the quality has improved because obviously the more money's pumped into it, the training's better. The quality has definitely improved. 
but I can remember that final and sort of almost hiding behind the sofa. Well, but what? How incredible it for was that amazing. the and journey that that's that, that's been on, and, and for people just watching it, it was it didn't matter if it was women playing or and men it's playing. become a turning point because even now, look, it probably should have been in their ages. But I remember women's football first coming into like the FIFA games, yeah. And now this year is the first year that they've actually got the women's Premier League in the FIFA games as well. Which, which to someone who's who might be, you know, think, well, that's not a big... It is a big deal because big they, deal these games are sold reserve. to so many people. And I imagine for those games as well, the amount of uh, people, uh, young girls that will buy them to, to play those games, that's, that's just yeah. such a fantastic thing. And the, and the women's themselves, I mean, some of them have, have uh, retired since then, but... You know, there's some real role models within that that community as well. So not just that though, the Commonwealth Games. It was really a summer for sports. The yeah, Commonwealth no, Games I love the Commonwealth the Games. Well. That was good fun. So we we watched quite a lot of that, and that yeah. was in England as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was in England, yeah, Birmingham, Birmingham, because we were trying to get tickets. And for I know we'll mention it in a moment, but there was a certain furry thing that we got during July that really enjoyed them. Um, yes, but Wana. before we move on to yeah. that and and Sorry. the other one. Um, heat waves. Do you remember the heat waves in July? I do. Uh, and when you think about it, that I think we did an episode about extreme weather. And by the time we did an episode or two after that, I had to go back because in the quiz was what's the highest temperature ever recorded in Great Britain. And within about two weeks, that it had been broken. eclipsed. Yeah. So, Massively, didn't it? Like yeah, 40s, 40s or... yeah. <clears throat> and I've got to say, we're, That's degree Celsius, we're not so. very well equipped to deal with any extreme no. weather. It's mental weather going on right now in America as well. It's like oh, it's Florida and it's making getting to negative. Yeah, it's it's Celsius. frightening. It's, it's so dangerous. And you, and you know, we all look at these things and think, well, hey, in a country like America, surely they're well equipped to deal. No, because if you don't live in an area of America that has that climate normally or even you know sees that sort of climate then you're not and that's yeah. what's the problem is in this country is although we haven't seen those extremes i mean the heat the heat was dangerous it was it, was, it yeah. was to the point where you really had to be careful and i mean i work outside so do you yes and yeah so they were trying to get us to go it's out difficult to earlier deliver post indoors isn't it it is although we've tried it <laughs> um but yeah, Do you remember it, we were thinking, are you going to have to work from home as a postman? Yeah, yeah, I might have to work from just home. Just stand outside the door and just shout. Yeah. Who wants your post? A bit like that now. Just, just basically open up the letters and then <coughs> read them to people over the phone. Yeah, yeah, just phone people up and tell them, oh, um, yeah, this is not good news. <laughs> this isn't then going in chrono- chronological order anymore because you mentioned it and I think it's probably better to mention the other thing afterwards. We did get a kitten. We got a kitten. Uh, it's your mother's birthday in July and I... The softy that I am, I conceded and said, well, if you want to get a kitten and there's one available, we'll get a kitten. And there was one available. There always seems to be one available. And, uh, yeah, well, blimey. (laughs) One of the nutcase. Absolute nutcase of a cat. They're polar opposite, the, the two cats we've got. One of them's really scared of everything and, yeah. and just hides away, and the, and the other one doesn't seem to be bothered by anything. They are cute together, though, aren't they? They are. Like they she are, brushes and they their do. face up against him, and he they licks do her actually head. genuinely get on. They do play fight, which yeah. is really annoying in the middle of the night, uh, especially when they roll across my chest while I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> well, I went <laughs> out to the bathroom last night, and I looked into your room, and I saw just Maui laying across you, looking out the Look, door at me. He lays on my chest, which. Bearing in mind how heavy he is, and you've broken the ribs as well, and I, I still my yeah, and my chest is but more yeah, good. we got Moana. Look, I think Mum says it wasn't the case, but one I think one of the big reasons why we got Moana was because David was born, and because David lived so far away, and he, and David and Chris lived so far away in Nottingham that it meant that. She couldn't see him quite so much, so had to get a cat. To really? Like a I, substitute? I th- sort no, of not a substitute. But I feel like there was a little bit baby. of like a, oh, I'm missing out on my grandson, so there was somewhere to look after. Uh, well, now, she certainly, I yeah, she certainly wanted one. Well, then let's move on to that. Then. She did want a cat really badly. But yes, David was born so, on the 10th of July. On the 10th of July. So 
Uh, the plan was that because we live a little way away from our daughter, um, it's your not sister, my daughter, your sister. Thanks. Uh, we were going to try and get up so we could help out. Um, they've got two dogs, so it's quite and and a, a number of cats, so it's quite difficult at times to get Free everything cats. done. Yeah. Uh, however, uh, Mum was on standby. She kept saying, "Well, should I, should I go up there now? Yeah, just go up there. No, no, I won't go up there yet." And it it went past sort of it was getting towards going past yeah, the, the due, due date. date was your birthday wasn't it no, no I it think was mum's due, birth, mum's yeah, birthday nearer yeah nearer to mum's birthday but then it was a few days after that but eventually mum went oh, it's going to be so expensive and we were going to join her at the weekend then go up there but we didn't because I got the dreaded COVID um, and so we didn't go anywhere um, and he was born on that Sunday Um Incredible. I don't quite even know now the emotions of becoming a granddad. Yeah, you got COVID on my week off. I couldn't help that, could I? <laughs> so you probably got, gave it to me. Anyway. I've, but no, I've not had it. As, as far, far as you aware. know. Um, yes, but what an incredible thing to happen. And he is an absolute joy. Um, such a happy little we fella. At Christmas, didn't we? we just saw him at Christmas, his first Christmas. But yeah, huge. And Annie Did was have incredible. He so He wasn't the happiest we've ever oh, seen. But, him, com- but he was considering he had a cough he and he got conjunctivitis, he was still quite jolly. Yeah. But yeah, Annie, incredible. Uh, such an incredible thing. And Chris, we were full of love for all three of them. And uh, yeah, lovely little family they are, and they came down at Christmas. So it was lovely seeing them then. But that was a huge thing for us this year, an addition to our family that wasn't f- covered in hair. Yeah, uh, right. Like me, August, August, my birthday. Sounds like your birthday, but that don't matter, does it? You always have birthdays every so year, so the, it doesn't really make any. Because there's a few to... things that happened in August. Is there? Yeah. So one, my what I'm saying about my birthday is we went to the aquarium, didn't we? That was a lot of fun. Yeah, well, we were kind of, it's a bit like right these days uh, when we're trying to do something. And I think I said to you, you had some couple of days off and I said, ah, let's do something. And you said, ah, I can't be bothered. And I said, no, let's do something. And it was good fun. We had a right laugh that day. Went down to Brighton, went to the aquarium down there, which is like the oldest aquarium in the country, I believe. And then we went out on the pier and all the arcades. You know, and had a laugh. It was the oldest aquarium just, in the world. It was, yeah. 150 years but yeah, that was good fun. Actually, good fun that. Yep. Uh, we also saw Coldplay. Incredible. Uh, a love little bit emotional. Hayden. It's it a w- nan. It was because uh, I'd been to see Coldplay a few years before, um, and went with Becky and Sam and took uh, your nan, my mum, and I mean, she was. An incredible woman, but she loved everything like that as well. She came out with the the another immortal line during that, saying, "I love it when the the drums and the bass kick in." Now, anybody, there's a lot of uh, people who have mixed feelings about Coldplay, but if you see them live, they are incredible. They are really, really good. Um, so we knew what we were in for, but we had a great time. But yes, there was a part when they sing certain songs, uh, and she liked the the band. So since songs did invoke emotion but yeah no it was an incredible night again uh, we also recorded the fizzy drink episode and terrible terrible night that was yeah, uh, terrible so terrible I still feel sick thinking about it there's probably still drink hidden around the house that I couldn't in fact we had the bottle of bubble gum uh, aid or whatever you'd like to call it for quite some time before I ended up conceding and tipping it down the drain but well, that, that that was a uh, just quite frightening that particular episode. <laughs> so when was that? That was August as well, was that it? That was August, yeah. Okay. Now September. Yeah. Wow, a lot of stuff happened in September. Go on then. So sixth of September, Liz Truss is appointed Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Succeeding Boris Johnson resigned. Yeah. Boris Johnson resigned. Yeah. Previously, yep. um, she became Prime Minister of, of the United Kingdom on the 2nd, se- oh, said it's the 2nd of September. Oh, and I imagine she's she's been there for some time now, hasn't she? Well, she then went and met the Queen and then a picture was posted of her 
like a couple of days, whatever. Like, like you do when you become yeah. prime minister, you go and meet the queen and she asks you to form a government or continue, you know. I know it was slightly different because she took over an existing government. And then... Yes. The queen passed away on the 8th of September. Yes, now we've talked about a lot of these things over the time in our podcast, but that was huge. Um, we sat, uh, unfo- well, we were aware, the news was telling us that she wasn't well and that her family were making their way to Balmoral, I believe she was at. Um, and it did seem like there was something quite uh, final about it all. Um and and we talked before about it, myself and you and and mum were sitting there. Mum had to go somewhere, but we were sitting watching the telly and watching the news reports. And then suddenly, it just changed. And they came on and done and told us that she'd passed away. Which, bearing in mind, you know, she's been queen all of my life. Uh, you know, all of mine longest. Uh, monarch longest reigning monarch in the united uh, kingdom yeah and and it was it was a big deal it was it was huge it was around the world it was huge uh she was such a figurehead she had a state funeral on the 19th yeah the september that was also a big day and that was a bank holiday because of it as well yeah um yeah we watched that unfold didn't we? we watched that Watching there's it. a lot of pomp and ceremony around great britain uh, we, d- I mean, we're we're known for it, and there's a lot of uh, been around a long time, haven't we? We have not. Us and to an outsider, some people love it. Some people wonder what the hell's going on. But some people was, in the country hate it. Yeah, long, so. there was. Um, it it was well observed, and on the whole, people came out and celebrated again her life. But it was mm-hmm. di- it's difficult. I mean, these people lived their lives uh, out in the open, and you, and you've got a a new king who's grieving for his... who He clearly loved his mother um, and he's grieving for her in front of everybody, but he's got to go about his business and do the the, the role that he's, he's in, he was in line for. So we have now a king, King Charles III, yeah. for his full title. But Yeah. Yeah. But that was, a, that was a strange time. That was a strange time and a strange time to be uh, in this country, definitely, because it seemed... To everything seemed to stop for some time, didn't it? It did. Yeah, it was it was a unusual period of time. Mm. And I, uh, this is the thing: we are focusing quite a lot on the UK. Yeah, uh, but we will because do because that's, that's where we're where from. We live, that, yeah. There's other things like the Italian elections and stuff like that. But I don't mean to sound rude, but it's just we don't know as much about it because we're not yeah from there. That's why we're not touching on those things quite as much. Um, I think that to an extent, not much actually happened with us personally in September. So it does kind of round it up. Oh, does it? Unless you've got rude. something to add about well, September. On the 6th of September, 2022. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, I and your mother celebrated our 25th wedding anniversary. You must remember the card yeah. that you got us. I oh, no, I you was, didn't get us a card, did you? I wasn't invited to your wedding. No, you weren't around. You were just you a, twinkle in my, me. a twinkle in my eye. I was going to get you a card. Was you? Yeah. Yeah? And what happened there then? I, I bought you a we, really expensive present earlier on that year, so I couldn't afford a card. Oh, that's full. Anyway, but we, we were going to celebrate that on a big scale, but that didn't end up happening. I think we just literally went out and had a meal. But yes, 25 years. Uh, Liz Truss has been appointed Not the to be sniffed at. Yeah, but there was so much going on in politics, I felt like I couldn't go out and celebrate. So Liz Truss was Prime Minister. For 50 days. 50 <laughs> days. Because <laughs> in October, Rishi Sunak became Prime Minister. Oh, my God. And at that point as well, when they, they were doing the re- like re-elections, um, it looked like Boris Johnson was going to start running again to try and get it. I mean, I just felt like we were laughing stock of the world. Yeah. And I believe to a certain extent we were. Yeah. Because, and it's settled down a little bit now, although it's still chaos. But, I mean, please. And we did speak about the fact that within um, baby David, my grandson's life, Already, he's had three prime ministers and he's two had three monarchs. prime ministers, two monarchs, and a million chancellors. Yeah, that's um, just stunning. It is. Um, so in October as well, 
Elon Musk completed his purchase of Twitter. That was yep. a big thing that happened. Yeah. Forty-four billion dollars uh, for that. That's gone well as well, hasn't um, it? Let's just. There was something that you did in October, wasn't there? Second of October. Oh yes, I ran the London Marathon. I was very fortunate. A good friend of mine came gave was given an opportunity to run for a charity and asked if there was anybody else that would like to and that was six weeks before it gave me a ring very very excited a wedding like, ring no oh. very very excited and we we i still didn't believe it was going to happen until we were actually there but what an incredible day and i smashed it you did Beat my 27 year old record um smashed it to pieces uh, but uh, uh, just an astonishing day all round. i think when we do things like that in this country I am, you know, it it just transcends. It, you, people just come together, and it's just a glorious thing. So yeah, that was a very exciting day, and I was very thankful for all you guys' support up there as well. It was good. Um, we also went to just going to skirt over something. Scarfall Pike. We, we did climb another mountain. Camping just in throw the, that in there in the Lake District. That another, was really good. Another we sensational. Did a whole pretty much on it. Yeah, so. another sensational camping trip. Um, yeah, see our post, uh, see our previous podcast for information. Yeah, that was um, that was. So when really, that really was cool. October as well, was it? That was October. Yeah, yeah. that was early October. Um, I'm just trying to remember if there was anything else that happened in October. Really, I don't think there really was. I wanted a hedgehog, but no one let me get one. No. November though saw the return of the Father and Sundays podcast. So we've been on hiatus pretty much since September early September we had because there was a series of things and I know it sounds ridiculous but when the we'd had we had to st- we stopped earlier in the year because of the death of my mum and then when we got around to the time and then we'd had a gap for some reason and then the Queen had died and then it just didn't seem appropriate to do what we were doing I know that again that might sound ridiculous to certain people because we don't talk about stuff like that but it just didn't feel right to us and then that sort of in the end we took a few weeks away from it uh, which turned out to be a more like a month that then went on to that but it was good to get back into it and we're on that yeah. series of run now aren't we so yeah no it's been good it's been good since we've been back as well um a couple of things that mentioned uh, that happened in November. Uh, there was the launch. NASA launched Artemis One, and also the world population reached eight billion people. Really? Yeah. That's probably quite high, isn't it? It's quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It's more than five. It is less than ten, though. No, no, no. It's still more than ten. What did you say it was? Eight billion. Yeah. No, more than ten, but not more than ten billion. I was talking oh, right, billions. Okay. I wasn't. Oh, was you not? I no. was talking about five. It is what was the five. thing you said about just before that? Artemis one. What's that? The rocket. There's basically the Artemis um, uh, project. Would you call it? No, missions. They're to get essentially man back on the moon. Wow. So Artemis one was the first one. Uh, was the first one? It's the one we tried to watch that time, but then it kept getting. Oh, it off. kept getting cancelled. Yeah. Yeah. So that one's the. Um, it was an uncrewed launch, but it's basically just testing things. I think they were doing an orbit and then coming back. Yeah. And it's basically just an idea of we'll keep weeding up until we go and visit the moon again. How exciting. And, and that brings us up to December. Now, to be honest, December, I haven't got a lot to say about December because we're in it. We've mentioned most of it. Uh, we've spoke about it all at the beginning of the podcast. I made a gingerbread, me and Becky and Sam made a gingerbread house and a, a Christmas cake. Yeah. Um, that's about the only other thing I've got to mention. Like, as in what's happened in December? No. Oh. Well, Christmas. That's what's happened in December. And yeah. it's been and gone. So does that take us to what a comprehensive review of the year that was? That was. That's probably more than jerk. we needed to. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's been going on for a while. It has. So this is a longer podcast. Yes. But there's one more bit. Yep. And we'll, we'll go on to that. <laughs> Right, that was a, a gloss over everything that's happened throughout the year. Um, and I'm sure there's things we missed, and I can guarantee there is stuff we missed, like nuclear fusion. I forgot to mention that in December. I'm pretty sure I wanted to throw it in. Okay. Um, nice but done. you always got a good way of wrapping up the year, haven't you? Well, arguably. there's I, I Like I said before, I like to do things in musical form. I've, yeah. I've written a song... Um, I, it's my attempt at a kind of Ed Sheeran song uh, in parts of it. Uh, didn't quite work out like that. Um, it's kind of talking about the 
nice and the nasty of 2022. But I'll just let you listen. The naughty and, and nice. My, make, yeah, yeah, the naughty and nice. I'll let you make your mind up what you think of it. As I wave goodbye to 2021 I was hoping 22 would be a better one A little less pandemic, a little less pathetic Perhaps something a bit more fun Prime ministers, they come and go But it's been like the departure lounge at London Heathrow No one really knows what the hell's going on a Bit like the lyrics to this song Then in mid-July There appeared this little guy And they called him David He's changed our lives brought such light and nothing will ever be the same Russia's up to its old tricks again flexing its muscles and bombing Ukraine the rest of the world touch and shake their heads but everything stays the same the queen is dead long live the king everybody's wondering what his reign will bring we lost NJ and I don't know what to say my heart is still in bits July, there appeared this little guy, and they called him David. He's changed our lives and brought such light, and nothing will ever be the same. No one can afford to put food on the table, except for the rich who are more than able. We're wrapping up in blankets because we can't afford the heat. The country's on its knees. There's protests, there's strikes, there's civil unrest. I'm not sure I know what to do for the best. Roll on 23, it's difficult to see how you could be any worse. But in mid-July, there appeared this little guy. And they called him David He's changed our lives And brought such light And nothing will ever be the same Woohoo! What a lovely song On to a game now, please Okay then Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. <laughs> what, what so I don't know. Um, so there's there's a quiz. There's a end of year quiz. What we're going to do today. End of year and quiz. yeah, I'm going to see how much you remember about 2022. All the key things. Uh, some of it might be familiar. Some of it might not. So play my sting. It's the end of 2022. So there's one more thing to do. I'm gonna test your year of knowledge Bet you wish you'd been to college What a lovely sting. Did you like that? Yep. Great. Okay. Shall we get on with it then? Yeah. Sure. Okay, Connor. Question one in How many 2010. Questions. 2010 questions. No, it's uh, 2021... Uh, oh my God. 2022 quiz... There are ten questions. They are multiple choice. Oh. Oh. No, that's sorry, that wasn't that. But okay, question one: Brazilian football stroke soccer legend Pele sadly died at the end of two thousand and twenty-two. But what was his actual full name? So was he actually A. Edson Arantes do Nascimento? Was he B. Antonio Francisco Pele, or was he C, Jose Carlos de Santos? Uh, I. You think he was Edson Arantes do Nascimento? Yeah. That is absolutely correct. Thank you. Pele, 
And a lot of people didn't realise that, but Pele is his nickname. That isn't actually his name. But then an awful Ginger lot of... Ginger Pele used to play for West Ham. Yeah, there's an awful lot we could do with him now. Uh, there's an awful lot of uh, Brazilian players that have just got the one name, but obviously their, their names are something else. Anyway, well done. One there's a lot one. of... Like, the Mexican, like, do you remember Hernandez, Chicharito? Yeah, so quite often get called... And Ch- uh, that was his nickname as well. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, question two. In 2022, a man decided to play a prank which confused and annoyed travellers approaching London Gatwick. But what did he do? Did he? Oh, this was Max Foch that did this. Okay, you're going to probably know this then. Did he put a large canvas in a tunnel entrance making it look like it had been bricked up? Did he Wiley Cody style. erect a 60 metre sign which read, Welcome to Luton Airport? Or did he dress up two dozen sheep in pilot and air stewardess costumes and let them free on the central roundabout? It was the Welcome to Luton Airport one. It was the Welcome to Luton Airport sign that he put up there that really confused everybody. Yeah, but Max you Fosh, the YouTuber, yeah. Oh, right, I didn't know that. I didn't realise that was him. Okay, two out of two. You're doing really well. Um... But will you get this one? Question three. Which title did Emma Raducanu attempt to defend in 2022? Was it A, World's Strongest Woman? Was it B, Most Hot Dogs Consumed in a Minute? Or was it C, The US Open? It was the US Open. It was the US Open. That's three out of three. Well done. <laughs> not the hot Doing dog really one. really well and not the hot dog one. Question four. Which Disney classic turned 30 in 2022? Was it A, Aladdin? Was it B, Beauty and the Beast? Or was it C, Hocus Pocus? Oh, that's a good one. Because Hocus Pocus had a sequel. Um, I think Beauty and the Beast is younger than that, purely because Annie used to watch it, and I think she watched it when it came out. And she turned 30 this year. Um, let's go Hocus Pocus, because maybe the second sequel was made because of the first one being made 30 years ago. You're going to see Hocus Pocus. Yeah. Uh-uh. Aladdin. It's Aladdin. So Aladdin was released in <sighs> November 92. Might as well Beauty give up the Beast, now. November 91. Hocus Pocus, July 93. So that's one wrong. Question five. 2022 is the year of what animal according to the Chinese calendar? Is it A, rabbit? Is it B, tiger, or is it C, cock? <laughs> um, you mispronounced rabbit there, by the way. You rabbit. meant to say rabbit, 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 rabbit. rabbit, rabbit. Um, I think it. I think last year might have been the ox, so I'm going to go tiger. How would you know that it was the ox last time, so it's now tiger? You know the the uh, pattern of it, do you? Yeah. The ox won, and then Tiger, because the ox cheated. Oh, wow. You obviously clearly know more about it than I do. It is, in fact, the Tiger. Actually, do you so know what well that done. means? What? That means that David has got the same, because I'm a Tiger. Are you? I, I was born in the year of Tiger, 98 year of Tiger. That means David has got the same Chinese zodiac as me. Wow. Something else you got in common? That and the dribbling and that. Uh, I anyway. I a middle name there, but sure. Thanks. Uh, middle name? Yeah, we've got the same middle name. Both called Terry. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Question six. Why did IKEA's lawyers contact Robert Shaw in 2022? Was it because he was living or squatting in one of their stores for two months? Was it because he was selling meatballs outside one of their high-profile stores? Or was it because he had developed a video game where players had to hide in a huge furniture store whilst being attacked by monsters? A, he was squatting in the IKEA. You would think that would be something people would do, and I, I, I do believe there was a bit where people try and stay overnight in it. It wasn't. It was, in fact, 
he developed a video game oh, where the players had to hide in a huge furniture store whilst being attacked by monsters. But I think the actual graphics were so obviously it's supposed to... I think even the um, sort of uh, title of the store was in the same writing and colours as Ikea. But basically, he it, it was based around that because because obviously when you go to Ikea it's this big sprawling warehouse and I think it was done like that so they didn't like that much so oh they yeah to... but they need to get rid of themselves well they stopped it happening okay question seven I think you're going to struggle with this which city hosted the Winter Olympics in 2022 Beijing was it... don't do that <laughs> I've told you about doing that before was it A Beijing was it B Chongqing or was it C oh. Shanghai. It was Beijing. Before you have a go at me, that's an actual place, Chongqing. Okay. <laughs> Didn't say it wasn't, did I? Yeah, but I know what you were getting at. You thought I was being a bit, you know. So you're saying Beijing. Yes, please. Well done. Thank you. Okay. Question eight. We're whistling through these now. It's all right. We did 55-minute episodes. <laughs> well, yeah, so we probably need to. Uh, in 2022, funny enough, two separate incidents were reported on the Karnataka State Road Transport Corporation. Transport? Transport Corporation. Where the bus drivers were disciplined by the company for misdemeanours. But what did they do? Was it A, they were tired, too tired to drive so got a passenger to do it for them? Was it B, they failed to issue tickets to an oven and a piece of fruit? Or was it C, they went home with the bus with passengers still aboard. See, they went home with the bus with passengers still aboard. That is incorrect. Oh. They failed. They got they got reprimanded because they failed to issue tickets to an oven that someone had took onto the bus that was taken up a seat and a piece of fruit that someone had taken onto the bus and put on How a seat. How big was the fruit? Well, it didn't matter. It was using up a seat, so they said... It's a little lemon not- sitting there. <laughs> exactly. Okay, question nine. Israeli scientists who clearly had too much time on their hands did what in 2022? Did they, A, teach fish how to drive? Did they, B, genetically engineered a half-man, I'm sorry, half-mouse, half-cat hybrid? Or did they, C, send a rocket into space carrying an earwig? They taught fish to drive, and you're saying too much time on their hands, but it's actually very interesting so you know this you yeah know they, they taught they, fish how to drive you know what they taught them how to drive tanks huh? yeah. yeah little fish bowls they were stuff. little little tanks where, which had mechanism and wheels on them and they yeah. taught them how to activate yeah they swam towards particular areas no, but, it's, but it's, it's kind of proving a point that these fish are capable of doing this they're, able, they're almost capable of thinking outside of, of their tank in, in more of a three dimensional way wow that made that sound more intelligent than I actually... Right, okay. And this is your last question, right? Of the year. Of the year. This is it. You're not going to ask me any questions tomorrow? No. Nope. What did Australian stroke US scientists, another lot of scientists, witness... Why are they stroking them? ...for the first time in 2022? Did they witness dolphins using surfboards? That'd did be they, interesting. Did they... B, witness octopuses throwing things at each other. Right. Or did they witness a completely black great white shark? They witness octopuses throwing things at each other. You think that they witnessed octopuses throwing things at each other? Yep. That is correct. Apparently... Octopuses and and when they were and it is octopuses, isn't it? It's not yeah. No, that you can use both. Right. Apparently, when they get annoyed and they can tell that they're you know they've monitored them, so they know when they get uh, they get the ump with each other, they start shooting things at each other and uh, like sort of gather up water, gather up silt, and gather up whatever they can find, and they don't necessarily throw it with their tentacles. They actually have got um, tubes within their uh, the fleshy part of their what we think of their head, and they shoot stuff at each other. Yeah, there's other fish other. that do as well. Actually, 
It's, uh, it's really quite... Because I've seen videos of fish like scooping up like um, substrate and pouring it on another fish's head because they're getting in there in their way and stuff. Now, it's, it's quite interesting. And the thing is, when it comes to marine life, those questions I got right. So You did. I probably should have steered clear from anything like that. I yeah. didn't think you know about the fish uh, look, driving. Dad, I have, I'm in so many aquarium groups on Facebook and stuff wow, like that and on different other social media loud, <laughs> that, yeah, I come across this stuff. Okay. Well, um, well done. You obviously got more right than you did wrong on that particular quiz. Yep. Um, and that it's is the, first. the end <laughs> of my little 2022 quiz. And that is the end of 2022. Yeah. Yeah. It's been it's been a fun one. It's, it's, it's not been quite... There's, yeah, like we said, there's been gaps in the middle. Um not always intentional, but they happened. So, oh, what well, with the podcast? Yes, that's right. And when we started talking through all the things that have happened, there has been a, a loads of really positive, excellent stuff that's gone on. Uh, you know, personally and just around the world, it's not all been go- doom and gloom. Although there has been some quite significant things happen this year. Yeah, but um, yeah, just worth quick mentions as well. If you ever do want to send us something, send us a message, question, complaint, suggestion, that can be done via the website um, at fatherandsundays.com. And that's son, spelled S-O-N, fatherandsundays.com. That's right. Go on to there. You can send us that kind of stuff on there on the contact page or you can email us at contact us at fatherandsundays.com. Um, all our episodes are available on the website as well, but you can also get them on your chosen podcast platform. Like, share and like them, uh, leave reviews on there as well, but like follow and share our social medias Facebook, Instagram, Twitter with uh, anyone that you like share them with your friends if you like it and if you don't like the podcast share with your enemies yep throw it at an octopus yep throw it at an octopus okay well I guess that all that's left for us to say is um, we hope you all have a very happy new year happy new year Happy 2023 and a happy new year to you as well, son. I hope it's a very, very good one for all of us. Bye. Bye. Bye.